Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the Edge Router to USG VPN setup, real quick I want to talk about the winner of the Clean Joke Contest and that is Space Cadet. So if you go over to the Microtik port forwarding and you look at the Space at Space Cadet's joke, he did get the most uh, votes. So Space Cadet, if you're out there, um, Space Cadet, reach out to me, give me your address, and I'll send you the the micro screwdriver kit. All right, so in the last two videos, we did site-to-site -site VPNs with like devices. Now we are going to do site-to-site -site VPNs with unlike devices. And we're going to do whatever devices I can get my hands on. So if there's a device that you want to see create a VPN with an edge router, um, and you have an extra one, get a hold of me and I'll give you my shipping address and you can send it over and if you want you can donate it to the lab uh, I can hold on to it or if you want to pay uh, you know to ship it to me I can do a video on it so like I said reach out and uh, we'll try to arrange that so before we get into this uh, into the actual configuration let's take a look at our at our map so the edge route or the USG the LAN interface is going to be 192.168.1.1/24. We've got a switch on that network that is 192.168.1.254, and then we've got the edge router light that we've been working with over here. So, I put a static IP on the USG. The WAN interface is 10.10.10.2, so it takes the place of the other edge router that we were using. So let's go ahead and hop into this and see how we do that configuration. First thing we're going to do is we're going to log into the 192.168.96.1 interface, and that is the interface that my PC is, or the yeah the, the router that um, my PC is plugged into. So we'll hop into that first. And we're going to go over to the VPN tab. IPsec site to site and um, you know you if you're gonna do a more advanced configuration you can do this show advanced options but I am gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn that off because we're just doing this default real quick so our peer here is going to be 10.10.10.2 and for the description we'll call this edge router VPN our local IP is going to be any. Our pre-shared key. Oh, you know what? Before we get too far into this, let me pull that command prompt up and show you that there's no traffic. And we're going to start that ping. We'll put this up here. And ooh, do you like? Do you like the new format? Do you like this in 1080? Uh, or do you prefer it in 720? Let me know down in the down in the comments. Anyway, back to our configuration. Pre-shared secret is going to be ER VPN key one exclamation local subnet be 192.168.96.0 slash 24. Remote will be 192.168.1.0 slash 24. We're going to go ahead and apply that on the edge router. Now on the Unify side. We can actually do this through Unify, so we don't have to jack with the uh, the JSON, the JSON file, and all that configuration. Um, and if you've watched enough videos, you'll know that you can do all kinds of nifty stuff through there, but I personally don't support it and I don't encourage it. Um, because even as much, you know, you run into a site and you don't do some documentation and then you get hit by a bus and then everybody else is left holding the bag. I just like to do simple straightforward standard things that if I call support they're gonna know that I follow best practices and you know somebody's gonna be able to help you figure it out alright so we're logged into uh, our cloud key if we go over to devices we've got our lab USG and then we've got our switch so we're gonna go to settings and networks and we're gonna create a new network and we will call this uh, ER VPN this is going to be a site-to-site -site VPN. This is where we're going to select IPsec, and when we do that, you're going to see all of these other options light up. And then we are going to use the advanced options on this side to kind of blow through this quickly. So 
We're going to enable this. We're going to add a remote subnet. It's going to be 192.168.96.0. The peer IP will be 172.16.1.2. The local WAN IP here is 10.10.10.2. We're going to put our, our same pre-shared key in. And we're going to drop down the advanced options. We're going to unselect perfect forward secrecy and enable dynamic routing. And we're going to click Save. It saved the network. And we're going to come over here to Devices. And we are provisioning. So let's give this a second to provision. Now, you will notice that this is going to work and it is is going to work really well. I um, did leave traffic going over this uh, the first time I set it up for about three days. Um, I was doing a lot of transfer back and forth and I didn't have it fail one time. Um, in that 72 hour period I had this actually I was running pings across each side too and I literally dropped zero packets. Um, over 120,000 packets were sent and we didn't drop any. So you can see we're still provisioning. You will notice some differences on the USG, and I'll, I'll show you that. You can come over here to our wizard and look at our VPN status, and we can see that it's down. Okay, so everything is supposed to be working. And there it is. I just get impatient sometimes. So now that traffic is going across that VPN connection, and that's really um, all there is to this. So if we refresh this guy, we're going to see that the status is up. And if it wasn't, then we would hop into the command line. We'd start doing some of that troubleshooting to see what's going on. Uh, let's hop over to Unify. So now if we click on the lab usg and then networks you'll notice that when we create a site to site vpn through the unify system with a usg on both sides that we get that other network and it shows up here and you can see the transmit and receive and when we do it this way it doesn't show up so that tells me that if i have a cisco on the other side or a juniper on the other side a watch guard a sophos a pf sense an opn sense an untangle an indian blah, blah, blah. Uh, that tells me that that's probably how this is going to react there, but we will usually have status here on the edge router, or of course you can go in through the command line. So one other thing, let's make sure that we are uh, getting that traffic by directionally here. So we are going to SSH into the switch over there, 192.168.1.254. And let's see, I'm going to log in here. So we are logged into the switch. And this is a Unify switch, so if we type help and hit enter, you'll see that. And But we can ping, so I'm going to ping. Uh, Ninety-six dot thirty-eight. And there it is from the switch. So that traffic is going both ways. So that is, that's it. This should be working. Um, you know, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. As always, down below, there are links where you can get your own Ubiquiti hardware. So if you have any questions, let me know.